Touring ride as a machine for fitness. I've just experienced that myself running up to Mount Lofty with him. Um, absolutely canes it and here's an interview I did with him, hope you like it. My five tips for running would be get a Garmin. Get the Garmin that sits on your wrist so that way you can pace yourself when you're running because the running is all about pacing on the flat so you've got to have a goal time for your runs and then just work out what minute per kilometre or minute per mile pace that is. So get a Garmin. Have good shoes. These are my cycling shoes but get some good shoes with good cushioning. You want to have good cushioning. If you don't have cushioning you're going to get stress fractures pretty quick. I've seen it all the time especially in the barefoot world. If you People get into it, and that's cool. Use barefoot shoes to learn form, but use cushioned shoes to actually run, run fast in. But it takes years to be a good runner. It takes five, 10, 15 years to really get strong enough legs where you can bang out big miles and get really fit. So running, I have to feel, is a very poor exercise for fitness because it takes so long for all your tendons and your bones and your ligaments to get strong enough to handle high mileage. All my good runner friends have been training at least 10 years, minimum 10 years. So I'd, I'd recommend cycling as a tip to get your cardio up and cross train with running. Another tip would be wear shorts as short as possible because if your shorts going over your knee it's going to affect your stride. Wear a light shirt, don't have too much uh, heaviness on your top. Relax your shoulders, avoid doing the tense like that. A lot of people get the tense and just relax your shoulders. Your hands want to be light like you got butterflies in there. Low, you don't want to have them up here, you don't want to be boxing. Stay low like this. And another tip, you don't want to be swinging. A lot of girls and guys, they're swinging, they've got an iPhone in their hand, they're just like, that's good, but it's going to give you a spinal issue, it's going to make you slower. If you want to get leaner, you've got to get faster. Lean is, is speed. <laughs> so speed equals lean. So you want to have good posture. Your shoulders, you've got two parrots on your shoulder, and they're going to peck you in the ear if you rotate too much. So none of this stuff. Get someone to film you with their iPhone or while they're riding a bike as you're running along. So you want to be like running like a robot, chest up high. Yeah, that's the main tips. And foot strike is not on your toes, not on your heels, more your midfoot. Not here, not there, more here. Guess I want to film you. Now it's easy with the iPhone or the iPod, just film as you're running along. You can check out your stride, slow it down the computer. That's what tips for running. Get a good helmet. Get a good helmet that, that feels comfortable to wear and wear that helmet. Uh, get a Garmin and get on Strava. That's the second tip, get a power meter. I recommend the Stages Cycling Power Meter. It's the lightest, cheapest power meter in the market. Works fantastic. Pairs with your Garmin. Shows you how much force you put into the pedal so you can pace yourself better. So helmet, Garmin, power meter. Get a drink bottle. I found this drink bottle on the side of the road. It's a Camelback Podium. It's BPA free. Always want to keep your mouth moist because if you're a cyclist and you let your mouth dry out, it can cause dental erosion because your saliva protects your teeth. And if your saliva drops down, your teeth can get bunged up. So that would be the fourth tip. Fifth tip would be get compact cranks if you want to get a better as a climber. Compact cranks, what does that mean? It means the chain rings are smaller so you can spin better, so you can generate more power. If you've got these big gears, you can't generate any power with big gears. You've got to have cadence, like a gearbox in the car. You want to rev the motor really high, you can get better cadence there. So that would be the tip is get compact cranks, a 50-34 chaining up the front and a 28 or a 30-32 in the back. That's my tips, five tips for cyclists. And carb up. Smash as much carbs you want in. Keep your diet low fat. Because the more fat you've got in your bloodstream, the harder it is for oxygen to get transferred to your cells. And cycling's all about oxygen. It's not about strength, it's all about oxygen.